Ubud is in that direction, around 4 kilometers. My villa is over there. And now you may be wondering, who am I? And uh, if you're part of my audience, you may be wondering, why am I doing this video in English? Uh, first of all, let me introduce myself. My name is Katalin. I'm a 32-year-old travel, uh, travel vlogger from Romania. that has been traveling the world for the last three years, since October 2015. I'm creating uh, travel videos. In uh, less than two years, I've managed to create the biggest and the largest um, travel or oriented community in my country, in Romania. My content is 99.9% uh, in Romanian, but I decided to make this video in English out of two reasons. First of all, because I want to improve my English. Second of all, because I want to help my audience improve, improve their English as well. Well, actually, there's a third reason, because this is going to be the first time which I'll be sharing my story in English, and this is interesting and at the same time challenging for me. So like I've said, I've been traveling the world since 2015, went to South America, spent around maybe one year there, around 14 months altogether, and the rest of the time, more than 20 months, I think I've spent uh, in Asia with some short stops in, uh, in Romania, my country. Uh, I went there in 2017 to renew my passport last year. And uh, after that, um, no, before that, I've been only in 2016 for around one month in, uh, in summer. So I've traveled to Peru in South America, Colombia, Brazil, and then Central America. I've been to Nicaragua, Honduras, El Salvador, Belize. Um, I've said Nicaragua, yeah, I've said um, Mexico, Cuba, went to Ecuador, then um, Europe a bit. And then Asia, Thailand, Malaysia, uh, Cambodia, South Korea, Japan, Singapore, Philippines, and now I'm, I'm in Bali for the for the second time. I'm creating uh, travel videos. I'm working with several companies all around the world. Uh, I love traveling. It's uh, my passion. I had no idea that this is my passion. If you'd ask me like three years or four years ago, I would never tell you, I would never say, okay, traveling is one of my passions. Before I started traveling, uh, I only took like short vacations, holidays. Um, so I never thought that I'll be in this position which traveling will become like a full-time job for me. Right now, in this moment, like I've said, I'm in Bali. Um, I'm flying in around four days. I'm flying to Bangkok. It's going to be my eighth or ninth time. I don't know. Uh, being there, uh, traveling there in Bangkok. I'll be staying there for four days. After that, I will fly to uh, Oslo, Norway, to visit my mother. She lives there. And on the eighth, eighth, yes, eighth of October, I'm flying to Porto in uh, Portugal. I'll be staying there for three nights. And on the eleventh of October. I am flying to Rio de Janeiro. So now, about the villa. If you will come to Bali, there's a 99% chance that you will end up here in Ubud. And I want to, to see this villa so you can have an idea of uh, what can $25 per night get you here in Ubud. According to Airbnb and, um, and Booking.com, I've uh, in the last uh, 36, 34 months, I stayed in more than 200 hotels, Airbnbs, apartments, and so on. Um, I never stayed in hostels. Well, actually, when I started traveling, when I started uh, traveling in, uh, in Lima, Peru, I booked a hostel for around three nights, went there, it was my first time, spent one night there, and uh, I remember at 3 a.m., uh, an American guy showed up in my room, in our room and he started uh, smoking marijuana and I woke up uh, I don't smoke I'm allergic uh, I have asthma so that was the moment where I realized I'm not able to share uh, my, my room with somebody else so that was the only time in which I stayed in a hostel uh, besides that I only stayed in apartments Airbnbs and so uh, and so on and, and of course hotels okay so now we are on the not main road but on the road it's a road of course there is a school this is buddha cottage ubud which is also a very very beautiful place you'd think uh, by its proximity to the to the road that um, the accommodation itself is noisy but 
uh, you'll see that is not the case. So, this is the entrance. Hello, Hello sir. This is my motorbike that I've rented for 80,000 rupees or something. That's around five dollars, I think. Yes. So this is the main entrance. Well, the entrance. Here we have the reception. I will show you now the restaurant. I just had um, a basic but uh, very nice uh, breakfast, which is included in the room rate. I don't know how many people beside me stay here. Oh. Hello. So this is the hotel. It's pretty, uh, the restaurant. It's pretty small, but it's uh, it's cozy. So that's interesting. You have these beautiful shaped uh, umbrellas. And this is the interior courtyard, which is really like the highlight of this whole place. I love it. Let's go down now. This is also one of my first unedited videos without flashy editing, without music, without whatever, you know, because I just want you, I just want to give you a real taste of um, how, how body, how boot feels like. Okay, so like I've said, you have there the reception. You see, it's written there, guest house and private house. So we have this, not, I don't know if I'd call them, like, like temples, which you see here, offerings and so on. And this woman is preparing. What are these? Offerings? Yeah. Ah, offerings. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. So, if you want to go to the um, guest area, you'd go that way. But now it's, we'll go this way. You have this amazing landscape that I totally love. I woke up every morning at around 6 just to uh, have the opportunity to film, the, um, to shoot the sunrise. And uh, you'll be seeing that in my following vlog because I've also presented this villa in one of my vlogs but I didn't edit it and I didn't uh, post it yet. But that's just a small part of the vlog. So my room is in that direction. You have this green thingy here. There is another room. This is my kitchen outdoors, which is basic, but still is always very useful to have a kitchen. If I, if I have the opportunity to choose places with kitchens, I like to do so. And this is my room. Welcome to Makrib. So, have this amazing huge bed, which is like really, really, really big desk, which is useful because I can work on my laptop. Uh, here you have this uh, relaxing spot. I don't like the fact that I don't have any outlets. So, I don't know, you see there's one here. Okay, so I could easily edit by staying here. This is the bathroom, pretty basic, but still clean, okay bathtub and also shower and now we have to go and I have to show you the swimming pool because this place yes of course like all the um, villas or all the places you search here in Bali this place has also a very a very small but yet beautiful swimming pool you see the swimming pool there are also another two rooms here, but they weren't they weren't available at the time of my booking. And now I'm I'm like lazy. I don't want to move. It's okay. It's just like short walking distance from there. Uh, I stayed here yesterday for around three hours. The water is okay. Very cold. Uh, its maximum depth I think is like 1.6 meters or something like that. So for this whole thing, I'm paying 25 dollars per night I thought it's $18 but I um, I didn't include the Airbnb fees the cleaning fees and so on so all in all it's 25 uh, 25 USD per night but it's unbelievably quiet this is what I really love it's unbelievably quiet unbelievably relaxing uh, I actually booked just for two nights but because I like the place so much I've extended my stay here by uh, two more nights today 
I'll be doing some editing and tomorrow I have like four waterfalls that I want to see but I don't know if I'll have time because I also want to go on the Gili Islands you know that uh, Bali had this uh, big issue in the last month with earthquakes and uh, the Gili Islands were evacuated but now I think it's it's interesting there because uh, tourism it's still at its lowest because of the earthquakes and all the I don't know warnings and so on but I would like at least to take a day trip but if I if I can stay there overnight if it's allowed if it's not so dangerous of course I love to do that so I don't know exactly what I'll be doing tomorrow okay so this is the video like I've said uh, for me it's very interesting doing a video in English of course sometimes in my videos there are some small parts which are in English because I'm traveling so pe the people I'm interacting with of course they speak uh, they speak English I will link here some of my old videos from 2016 I think uh, because some of them are in English some of them are in English because when I started my YouTube channel uh, I wanted to do them uh, to create them in English but after that I realized that it's much harder to grow an audience by uh, uh, by doing it in English because the competition is huge everybody does uh, everybody does them in English so I've just switched to Romanian and like a short story in uh, March or May 2016 I had like 500 or 800 subscribers I had around 5,000 in October 2016 and then I had like 25,000 in November and then by January 2017 I've had like 80,000 and then I hit 100,000 in mid-May and uh, after that it went like this uh, again snaky snaky and uh, now I have around 240,000, something like that, just because I switched to, to Romanian, because uh, there weren't many travel vloggers in Romania that, uh, I don't know, that were doing this. There were some people creating videos, but not like travel vloggers, they were just doing uh, short videos of their, uh, of their holidays abroad. So it was much easier for me to, I wouldn't call it like create this niche, but start this, this niche i like i like the word start more than i like the word uh, create so right now of course there are uh, there are multiple multiple travel vloggers every every year coming from romania trying to do to create content trying to create amazing content um, i'm friends with most of them so we are trying to grow this travel oriented community and this niche in my country i'm blabbering i'm talking i'm all sorts of gibberish because i'm excited that i can talk in english with you guys i hope that my audience won't get too upset that this video is in english and i'm sure that uh, you will appreciate that because it gives us both the opportunity to learn to improve and to and to be able to talk more fluent in english well that being said you should also check my instagram account uh, Catalin, Catalin underscore Backpack Your Life. I try to post their photos on a daily basis and I create all sorts of stories. I spam uh, all my followers, I spam them with my stories, but still. Either way, that's it. I will continue my day now and I promise you that in the future I will create, uh, I'll come back to this uh, video creating, how should I call it? I will create more videos in English, to put it simple. Thank you very much, kiss you, and see you soon.